from Jaguar. Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> uh, Indiana did lose 64 59 tonight at home against Wisconsin. Just like I said, just like I said, uh, Wisconsin, they love to slow up the tempo, uh, milk that shot clock every time down the floor. Uh, and just uh, grind it out. That's uh, Wisconsin does it better than anybody. Slow up the tempo. Uh, very physical on defense. They don't turn the ball over hardly. Uh, and if you watch yesterday's vlog, the top ten of week eleven at the end, I talked about it. Uh, what if every time something was bad? I'm sick, upset. Uh, I missed the first half of the game. Uh, I was on a photo shoot and I forgot to tape it. Uh, so I taped the second half. I seen the second half. Uh, Zell wasn't attacking the basket the second half at all. Um, just like I said, they are timid with the basketball. In the, okay, this is the thing. In the end, I have major issues. I've been saying it all season long. They need to get more sort of aggressive in the front court. Waffle needs to step it up. That's all it was to it. I would bench him to get the point across. Get it through his head that he needs to step it up. I love Waffle. I'm not trying to put him down. I do like him, but he needs to step it up. Uh, let's see, Zell will need to be more solid. Uh, Yogi Ferrell shot the ball eight times. I don't think he should be shooting the ball eight times. Uh, you want that number down just a little bit. I mean, he's a, he's a point goal. I don't think point goal should be shooting the ball that much. And uh, Ferrell, he's, he's, uh, he's not shooting the ball well. Hasn't all season. He's getting a little better, but... Um, Indiana needs to press. Um, why they continue to just play around, I have no idea. They need to press. They need to press like Louisville does. Patino type press and trapping. Um, you know, they have the deepest bench in the country, tons of experience, why not press? Um, so, or at least press more, they have them pressing, but they need to press more. Uh, what else, what else am I missing out? Uh, this vlog's going to be so short. I can't help it. Uh, extremely upset. Uh, let's see. Uh, Indiana did out rebound Wisconsin pretty bad. I don't know the exact numbers. I just looked at the stats. Uh, Indiana did. They only shot. Let's see. They only had 19 free throw attempts against Minnesota. They had poorly. Uh, so I don't know what happened now. They didn't get to the line much. I bet you that's the least they've got to the line all season long. I don't know what was going on now. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm speechless. Uh, this whole smell in the battle loss. Uh, you know, I, I've said it all season long, and the end is vulnerable against uh, physical teams, uh, big physical teams. Uh, they're vulnerable if a team slows down the tempo against them. And I knew it was coming on the big pen. I knew it. Didn't expect it to be successful in Assembly Hall, though. I did not expect it. 
for a team to come in and be that effective slowing up the tempo of a game in a somewhat hall. I did not expect it. Uh, I mean, I, I knew they could be somewhat successful slowing down the tempo in a somewhat hall. But, and, and giving us a run for money, but I figured we would win. I did not expect any other win and lose at home. Uh, especially the unranked Wisconsin, but Wisconsin's good. Uh, I knew at Wisconsin it's going to be tough to win. I've been saying it for out my own. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I'll definitely talk about it more tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if I was coach, uh, I would absolutely drill them nonstop the rest of the season. Uh, it'd be boot camp. Boot camp, and that's it. Uh, my practices would be labeled with hell. The games we played in would be heaven because the practices would be that tough. Uh, the practices would be so chaotic that on the road, it wouldn't be chaotic to us. You know how fans all, they go crazy and all that. You know, it's tough to win on the road. I would create an environment and practice worse than the atmosphere of, like, say, Purdue or what point in Kentucky or, or whatever. Uh, anyway, I knew this was, vlog was going to be short. I'm just going to slap it into my computer and upload it. And Tomorrow I'll talk more about this stuff. Uh, like I said, I, I miss... A good majority of the of the uh, game, I missed the first half. Don't know what happened. I know Zell went like eight for eight. Played a really good first half. Second half, what I seen, I wasn't attacking the basket. I was timid with the basketball. Something you do not do. Uh, Zell needs to step up and be a leader. Um, Look at this. Indiana needs to, I don't know, Indiana needs to do something. Uh, I will say this, I've said it before, Indiana in the 1980-81 season, they sold out, came in, Indiana came into the season rank fifth in the nation, preseason five. They went seven and five non-conference, they fell out of the top 20, 25, they lost to teams like Pan Am, teams that were just horrible and guess what happened they came back won the national championship so uh, this game will not define in the end uh, but they need to wake up they need to uh, I don't know and the end needs to get to 100% commit from here on out and step it up and give it the 100% all and walk extremely hard. Uh, but champions are made during the off season training, not not so much during the season. Uh, and I don't, I don't know. Ben Nina does need to step it up. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Tomorrow I'll have another vlog and who knows what the heck I'll talk about. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, I think I said this oil in the season in one of my vlogs. Uh, if I were an opposing coach going up against Indiana, I would do exactly what Wisconsin did tonight. They slowed up the tempo played very physical defense and uh, and they milked the shot clock uh, just like I said like last year Kentucky that's how you beat Kentucky last year and that's how they did lose I think uh, because teams slowed up the tempo that's how Indiana had to beat Kentucky last year on the tournament and they didn't 
they couldn't do it. But uh, that, that's what you do, you slow up the tempo, play physical, uh, build physical defense, you get physical with them, you uh, milk the shot clock, and you don't, you take care of the ball. Uh, but Holes didn't do that good at all, I don't think. I looked at the stats, I don't know the exact stats in my head, but I just looked at them. And from what I've seen, he hesitated, and he it's one of the worst I've ever seen him. Made a pass in midair, rebound, I don't know what in this world he was doing, but uh, I'm very disappointed. Um, but all you could do is just keep pressing on and take things one day at a time, but uh, that's it. Peace.